addiction. Addiction. My addiction. Bitter hot ice eating away at my fingertips, fumbling with the mental pipes, needles, lighters, spoons, my hands shake uncontrolled, sitting at the doorstep of full brown lips, waiting for the release of each and every breath, each and every breath, each and every breath, just to inhale the granules of sugar that fall from the air when his lungs exhale, oxygen transforms into honey, I watch it crystallize, catch it before it hits the ground, light it, tap my soul's vein and I'm gone, crash, I write the confessions of a secret addiction, the crippling sweetness of elation crowding my cranium, I'm a junkie, a fiend, Faithful disciple of the ultimate soul My addiction 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 My addiction 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 My addiction whispers my name and steals my sleep, leading me down indigo alleys, brother to the night, holding me in the shadow of his high, coursing through my veins at the speed of light, I seize with passion's insanity, barely reminded of my humanity, I collapse inside mazes and labyrinths of tips, leaving imprints and essences, but onward it pulls me, entangled helplessly in clouded memories of who I used to be, of who I used to be. Who am I? Who am I? With each hit, this addiction grows deep. Consistently, he administers higher dosages of himself, crouched in dim-lit corners of abandoned emotional crack houses. Picture this. Bloodshot eyes, frayed hair, skin, bones, powdered lips, my inner spirit taken captive, partaking indulgently of his intellectuality, a glutton for his sensuality. I spliff. It's the chronic. The chronic. The chronic. What's happening? What day is it? What the hell is my name anyway? Someone please tell me what year is this? To the God of Arrows I ask unashamedly, what power of possession have you given this love that has come to me? A supreme being to any love known before him? I'm addicted, straight hooked, a fiend for his S-O-U-L-K-I-S-S, soul. I'll be damned. The show is a push. Shut your mouth. Ooh, my addiction. My addiction. Is there a support group for this? Is 
say a support group for this. The show is some good shh. Shut your mouth. Mm. My addiction. to wake up tomorrow morning and, and, and decide to be a love poet, my first poem would be about her, about how, how she shines incandescent like a recently lit candle with no handle, which makes the arms of average men impossible to hold her, makes the hands of average men impossible to fold her, and impossible to shape and mold her into just an average girl, you see. You can't tell her that she doesn't deserve the world because she knows better. Can I tell you a secret? You see, sometimes I, I really wish I was a love poet because if I was, I would talk about how how she walks with a quiet confidence that that announces her presence whenever she enters the room, and I and I wonder if there's enough room in her heart for me. And I don't mean I don't mean intimately. I mean I mean spiritually because I feel an inch closer to God every time we speak. So I may actually. Stand next to God at the end of this week Which is scary, thrilling, and unique at the same time And I and I wonder if there's enough time to know the intimate details of her life And I and I wonder how many more times will we transform afternoon conversations Into conversations late at night before I run out of things to say And I wonder how many more times will I, will I hear symphonies in the background of her speech Before the orchestra runs out of things to play And honestly, I don't think they'll ever go away And... And I'm okay with that. And I'd like to say all that. And I would. If I was a love poet. You see, but... But if I was a love poet... The first thing I would write about... Would be her. About how she... She awoke a part of me that, that I thought that I stabbed and left for dead. And, and I told my boys that I don't need anybody and I like being alone and, and I know what I said, but but I, I'm not right all the time. And, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to capture her beauty and transpose it into rhyme. And I, and I know I'm not a love poet, but if I was, I would talk about... I would talk about holding her at midnight and how, how having her next to me just feels right and, and if I could, I would write her a million poems. But me, I, I'm not really a love poet. But if I was a love poet, I would write about her. I, I'd write about how I'm here if she ever feels the need to cry and she just needs a shoulder. I'd, I'd write about all the things that I've never told anybody, but I've known her for like five days and I've already told her. I'd, I'd write about how how I may have to wait for another lifetime just to get the appropriate time to hold her. But if I could just hold her for five minutes, it would be well worth the wait. And I'd write about that if I was a love poet. Oh, yeah.